Hi, my name is Shane Paul O'Neill from City Coach Multisport. And today I'm going to be talking about running form in terms of your actual foot strike while sprinting. Your foot strike is very, very important in sprinting for a couple of reasons. A, for optimal speed and efficiency, and B, to avoid injury. Unlike normal running, sprinters run exclusively on their toes. Um, the reason for this is with a heel strike, it actually forces you to slow down. Picture Fred Flintstone driving his car. When he went to hit the brakes, he dropped his heel down, and that's how he slowed down. Now imagine doing that every step for a 100 meter race, 400 meter race, and so on. Uh, the other reason is that it actually minimizes the amount of force that your body takes on. Sprinters can take anywhere from 8 to 10 times their body weight and force every single step. Dropping their heel will only exacerbate that more and cause pressure to come up through the leg to the hips, lower back, and cause other injuries from prolonged sprinting and prolonged pro improper form. One of the things you want to be very mindful of is that your foot strikes directly under your hip. Again, to avoid that stop motion, which can result in excessive force to your lower body, your hips, and your lower back. Another thing that sprinters do that's a little bit different from a distance runner is we do what's called dorsiflex. We will point our toe up in order to give ourselves a firmer platform for when our uh, forefoot strikes the ground. That way, A, you have a more responsive uh, platform for your foot to come off of, increasing your speed and efficiency. B, it reduces the likelihood of you rolling your ankle and causing other injuries. And that's proper sprinting form in regard to the foot strike. Oh,